Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Watchtower Examination. My name is Winston and I'm delighted to be back and to welcome you to another episode. I made a promise in my last video that I would not be away for long and I think I have been away longer than intended. I apologize. Viewers to the channel know that I have been away for a while, as I explained in a previous video, working on a project. And so there is a lot that I could comment on, a lot to catch up on. And I'm going to begin or resume the channel, so to speak, talking about a scandal. A scandal that has rocked the Watchtower organization. A scandal surrounding the former member of the governing body, Anthony Morris. The chief apostate of, of all time. And the moment I mention scandal, if you are familiar with the organization, if you are a subscriber to this channel, if you are subscribed to the other YouTube channels that are exposing this disgraceful excuse for a religion called the Watchtower, you will be aware, so I will not have to fill in the details because I do not wish to get into the details. Someone shared with me a video of a young lady who showed up at some Kingdom Hall, I suppose it was, accusing Anthony Morris of some horrible things. I indicated to the person that I will not present it on my channel because I have no way to verify that what she is claiming is true. Not that I am saying that it is a lie. I am in no position to accuse this woman of lying. I am in no position of confirming that Anthony Morris is in fact guilty of what he is being accused of. And so I will not repeat it. I will not perpetuate it. If you want to hear what the allegations are, I invite you to do a search and go check it out. Because what I am about this evening is not to comment on whether the allegations are true. Not to comment on whether Anthony Morris is guilty or not guilty. But to comment on the disgrace that this is as a direct result of the governing body and the Watchtower organization. In my previous video, I spoke to how the organization has abused the scriptures, misinterpreted the scriptures, misapplied the scriptures, used the word of God for evil and calling it God's will. And I submit to you that the scandal that is now facing Anthony Morris and the Watchtower organization and the governing body is a direct result of that lack of appreciation for and the misuse of the word of God. No one knows if Anthony Morris has been disfellowshipped. Or let me put it this way because I have been absent for so long that I am not, I cannot claim to be abreast with everything that's happening. So I'm taking you from a month ago, so to speak. Had the Watchtower organization been following the principle laid down by Christ to tell the congregation what the matter is, when someone is being disciplined, if the Watchtower had followed that advice from the Son of God, there would not be this scandal today. Because every Jehovah's Witness would know, at least the congregation that he attends, would know why Anthony Morris was removed from the governing body. But they do not operate the way Christ taught us to operate. They operate like a secret society. They operate on man-made rules. The reason I chose not to repeat those allegations on my channel is that as much as I disgust, and I, I make no apologies about it, 
I, I, I feel disgust when I think about Anthony Morris and what he has done, how he has participated in the destruction of lives. I find him disgusting. But as disgusting as I find him, he is a human being. And a human being is entitled to his reputation. And it would have been wrong if there is any chance, and I believe in the principle of justice that presumes a man innocent until proven guilty. If there is any chance whatsoever that Anthony Morris is not guilty of what he is being accused of, it would be an evil on my part to help to perpetuate it. So I don't know if it is true. But the reason Anthony Morris is facing this scandal today, if it is still on, I will always use the caveat that I have not been following what has been happening in the, la the latest news in the Watchtower. So if there is some development since that time that I am not aware, I make my apology. So take it then that I'm speaking from the situation a month ago. If Anthony Morris is not guilty of what he has been accused of, then the governing body of Jehovah's Witnesses, by their policy, must take responsibility for the scandal that is now facing the man. Because they have, they have kept this deafening silence about why Anthony Morris was removed from the governing body. They have kept a deafening silence as to what has the man done. But all of this for me is karma. All I can say to Anthony Morris, as much as I believe in the sanctity of a man's reputation, I can say without apology, you deserve what's coming to you. Because you have helped to perpetuate this policy that has destroyed many Jehovah's Witness lives. Now you, Anthony Morris, know what, must know what it feels like when someone who has not committed what they have been accused of committing is taken, is announced to the congregation that the person has been disfellowshipped or the person has been disassociated or, the, or, or, or censured or whatever the case may be. Removing of privileges, causing people therefore because they are only human to go into a corner and speculate about what the person has done, doing damage to person's reputation. So now you feel what it feels like, but as much as you deserve it, it is still not right. And if only Jehovah's Witnesses could see, if only they could open their eyes and see how this religion is not teaching as Christ taught on the matter of discipline, maybe, no maybe, there's no maybe about it. If Jehovah's Witnesses could come to see, then definitely, this ridiculous shunning policy, this ridiculous policy of secretly trying people with three men and allowing those three men to determine the fate of someone is just absolutely ridiculous. But it's beyond ridiculous. It is ungodly. It is unchristlike. It is not what is taught in the Bible. And so, I am glad that it is Anthony Morris who is now facing it because this was the same, I'm trying my best not to be disrespectful, but this was the same idiot who went telling people to shun their relatives, embracing that disgusting policy. Did you notice, carefully notice, the Bible does not say, don't keep company with anyone unless it's one of your close relatives. 
It does not say, well, this is my daughter. This is my son that was disfellowshipped. It doesn't say, well, you don't understand, this is my mother that was disfellowshipped. My father was disfellowshipped. The Bible says anyone. And it was the same idiot who went to do a broadcast telling Jehovah's Witnesses about this is their scriptural belief. Because of our scriptural beliefs and practices regarding disfellowshipping. There is nothing scriptural about the shunning policy. And if you do not understand what I'm talking about, watch the previous video. They may pressure us to change our scriptural beliefs. Thank you so much for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. In the next video, I will be speaking to you about what has got to be, in my opinion, the dumbest Christian religion on planet Earth today. And if you are guessing it is the Watchtower organization, congratulations. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Give your comments in the section. Give a thumbs up. It helps. Thank you so much for joining me. Take good care of yourself. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Thank mm -hmm. you.